What's up guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Des uh, the Star Wars Death Star Chinchon. It uh, has uh, 665 pieces. Set number 75329. And it's supposed to be 18 plus. It's not it's that hard to build. Um, but I'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, here are the extra pieces. At least the ones that I got. I think some of the pieces got mixed up. I think some of them were not supposed to be there and others were. Uh, it's just I did steal from other bags. But, uh, anyways, there are some prints uh, th that you get spares of, like this TIE Fighter one. So I don't know if that'll. Okay, it's not focusing. And then R2D2. So. Um, yeah, this is just, even bes uh, past the prints, this is just a great part pack. Uh, there we go. And, yeah, you get several pieces, and some of them, uh, you don't get extra stuff, but it's really nice. And I did want to show you the instructions, because they have some information about the movie and the set. So here's... You can pause if you want to read that, and then different languages. Uh, then we got this section, as well as this. So, yeah, um, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, but yeah. That being said, I'm going to bring in the set, and yeah, um, this is not something I think I would have gone out of my way to to get, but uh, it's like a, um, my dad surprised me with this, and it's it's really cool, I have to say. Um, so, first of all, before we get into the all the different grieving details, because there's a lot, uh, like, a, like a lot, a lot, um, but We'll just, I'll just show you the, uh, the, uh, Starfighters, which, this, this is the only, like, newer diorama set that, um, like, it's, that it's not minifig scale, like, this X-Wing obviously isn't, and then this, the Death Star is zoomed in, so it's kind of cool, uh, different scale, but here's the basic TIE Fighter, so again, that print, and I like what they did with the clips and the lasers. Um, it's just it's just a cool technique. And yeah, unfortunately no symbol um, on the uh, wing. But yeah, you get two Tie Fighters. I'll just take them off uh, and different attaching points for them. And then here is Darth Vader's Tie Advanced. So it's a, got a little wonky. Um, the clips get like that sometimes, but it's pretty nice. Uh, it's got a little bit of extra extension, um, like in uh, like Star Wars lore. That's that's cool. But the one thing I don't really like is the fact that there's gray here. And I think what they they're trying to show was how this is curved. So, but this part shouldn't be there. If that's what they were going for. Um, so I think they should have just turned black and just gone with that. Uh, but I mean, it's, it, it's fine. It's just, it just kind of takes away from the look of it, I think. Um, but yeah. Then we've got the X-Wing, which is, it's so much bigger than the TIE Fighters. It's got blue for some reason. I think that's like, kind of like energy, I guess. But it's... It's so much bigger than the TIE Fighters. Or I guess not so much, but it's just... It's got way more pieces. But I like what they did with the engines, with the crystals. Um, and then you've got the S-foils. I like the ski pieces. And you can you can move them a little. You can't close them, but yeah. Uh, and then you've got R2-D2 right there in the cockpit. And it's, it's a pretty nice build. I definitely like it. Uh, and then right here, uh, 
what kind of catches my eye when I look at it is the turret. So it's raised up like it should be, but you can you can spin this around. It's on like a jumper, and uh, you can move these, I guess, if you wanted to. So you you can pose this a little bit, um, but I like that. Uh, but I think I might take this down so you can see more uh, past on this wall. So what, what what you end up doing is it's pretty cool where you just stick this on. It attaches at a few points like right here and right here. And then you just put some pens in there to secure it. And it works pretty, uh, pretty nice. It definitely won't fall off. But yeah, got some nice scribbling all over. Oh, yeah, so I, I like the piping, it looks really cool, and I don't I don't really know what to say, it's like, it's just so much, and it was just so fun to put together. I think this is my favorite build, um, to, to build, um, but what I like, one of the things that I really liked how they did was, uh, they had these, um, the hinge piece, where it's supposed to go in, um, but in this case, it it doesn't, and it just sits on some pegs. Uh, but what looked especially cool was uh, down here, where it continues the piping. Yeah, that just works so well, in my opinion. And uh, this is just a really visually appealing area, I think. Uh, just for me personally, and I like how you can have the TIE Fighter be hovering above, and there's dif there's different levels to um, to where the ships are. It just makes it so much better. But I think this is the exhaust port. I could be I could be wrong, but I mean I, I guess it's not because Luke is flying away from it because he's supposed to be set up right here, going that way. Um, it's kind of weird because this this kind of looks like that. Maybe it should be a little bit lower, but that's just what I'm gonna think of it as. Um, and then what was really interesting this this little build. Um, so at first I thought it was gonna be a turret with this. I thought it was gonna be a blaster, and then I thought it was gonna be some kind of robot or like droid. Yeah. Um, or some kind of like statue, I guess. But then it ends up just going down and becoming part of the piping um, system. And uh, one of the pieces that I thought was really cool was this. I don't know where it first came from, but I just I just like it because it it reminds me a lot of the the Toy Story binocular um, toy. So yeah. Um, again, really cool pieces, but that's a big highlight of it, although, if, if I had to, st uh, mention one flaw about this, is that, um, it doesn't, like, n not all the pieces stay, like, you can, you can mo move it around, it's, it's kind of easy to get it back in place, but it's not super secure, um, like, just some of the points that stick out, like, this, probably knock that off I don't know um it, it just seems like not thoroughly connected but not bad at all like I'm not super worried about stuff falling off so I, yeah um now that I think about it it's not really a flaw um but then down at the base uh, you got the Lego Star Wars logo, and it says the Force is strong with this one. Uh, the I figured, I guess I should have said, the Force is strong with this one. I don't remember the line, but I'm just doing my best Darth Vader voice. Um, but, yeah, uh, some top, some greats there. I think it adds to the visual appeal of the base. <clears throat> so, overall, this set is, it's something I never thought I would appreciate as much as I do because you can't of course play with it I guess you you actually
kind of could uh, like fly the starfighters around, um, but it just uh, just blew me away by the amount of detail there is uh, and how cool it looks, and I can I can recognize some of the um, some of the details from um, fr from the movie, and I can tell that that um, the de the designers uh, really uh, paid attention to all the little things and did research on the Death Star to to build this. So yeah. Really awesome set. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.